This weekend it's our 6th annual 1940s wartime weekend and vintage fair. So this weekend the museum will be full of reenactment groups, fans of 1940s um, and the wartime era. Uh, as well as reenactment groups we've got lots of 40s entertainers from George Formby Experience to um, female vocalists, the Viral in Tribute and uh, DJ and Sunday afternoon tea dance. We've got a mixture of antique stores, uh, vintage, so you'll see everything from vintage uh, cups and plates to uh, 1940s clothes, tights, handbags, hats and memorabilia. Okay. Right, well we've had various acts, uh, all representing various ENSA entertainers who were actually uh, performers, uh, star performers uh, back in the war years who uh, went round entertaining the troops in different theatres of operation. So this week we've had uh, we've got Natasha Harper on now, who is a good all-round uh, female entertainer. Uh, but she'll be doing songs from like Vera Lynn and uh, also Gracie Fields. Uh, as we speak, she's doing one now, <laughs> Gracie Fields. Uh, we've also got Paul Casper, who actually portrays the famous George Formby. Uh, so he, he's probably one of the best George Formby acts that we've got plays the wonderful ukulele. Uh, he doesn't only look like him, but he also sounds like him. Yeah. Um, we've got Susan St. Nicholas, who also does a Vera Lynn uh, a tribute. And myself, who does, like I said, the Irving Berlin. Um, I do the tap dancing, and one or two other things as well. Okay, so the tea dance is it's the third time we've done, done it. Um, it's at two o'clock today, and um, basically people pay a couple of pound extra to come up here. Um, we have a DJ called GI Jive, so he'll be playing the music and also teaching people the different dancers. Um, and people also get um, cups of tea and pretty vintage china, cake, things like that. It's just a really nice um, additional event to what else is going off here today. <laughs> Um, what we're going to do is we're going to play some music as to how the, um, the, the English and the British were dancing uh, early in the war and then we're going to play some music that the Yanks brought across with them, some swing dancing, some jive uh, and that, that'll be sort of later on. But it, we'll, we'll mix it up from waltzes, foxtrots and of course we do all the party dances like the Lambeth Walk and all that sort of stuff as well. The music of the 40s, it had melody, it had charm, uh, the lyrics were good, the melodies were good and um, we've always liked that and it's great to dance to. We, we started dancing to this sort of music about 20 odd years ago and it's just changed our lives. It's just, it's just a beautiful recreation and keeping you fit at the same time. Brilliant. You wouldn't think that half of them were swimming And when the girls stand up to stage You can sing the housemaid's name to do go swimming With the women Now even when I am at home and working day to day I always do look forward to me half-day holiday The people don't invite me on my So do we wait till we finish this song? Or do we just burn them off now? <laughs> My favourite 
part is the fact that all the visitors uh, really make an effort and come dressed in their 1940s best. It really makes a difference, especially when we sing our wartime finale on the stage at the end of the day and the uh, visitors sit there waving their flags in their lovely 1940s outfits. It just looks amazing. I love the tea dance um, because we get a real mixture of people. So we get people who, who know the dances already and then we get um, maybe younger people that, that want to learn. Um, so that's really nice to see. And I just think this, this event's my favourite event that we do. It's just got a really nice atmosphere. You find out that when you're involved in the 1940s movement, um, there is certainly the 1940s spirit amongst people. And it's lovely really. That's one thing I do like about it. Uh, people will greet each other. They'll say they're very polite to each other and of course the camaraderie and the spirit is still around believe it or not even today and that's probably one of the nicest things I like about it.